morning people of the grid it is saturday august the 12th woke up to a little situation this morning we uh we ran out of water we've been here since tuesday it is now saturday so tuesday wednesday thursday Friday, saturday we normally go a lot longer with our tank of water anyways lucky for us my buddy clint carries a huge tank of water in his truck so we just filled up we got water tammy's making breakfast we got a hole in the tube. Melissa and I are going to patch it up so that we can get on the boat later and do some more tubing. Good day, Alyssa. I'm good. You're good? Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. So, this is our tube. And we have one hole there on the seam. And one more right there on that seam. So that's what Melissa and I are going to fix right now, right? Adrian might. Agent Miker, Agent Lissa. Agent Miker and Agent Lissa, the tube repair SWAT team. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick tour of the boat. This is a Mastercraft X15 2013. The engine is built by a company called Ilmore. Ilmore makes racing car engines and they make a killer boat engine. It has a ton of power. It can pop out a big guy like me with a wakeboard like that. It's got a really wide beam. It's got a lot of room. We can fit our entire family and another family and a half that can come with us. It holds 14 adults. And of course you can mix that up with adults and kids any way you want, but it carries a lot. It's got beautiful tower racks. We can hold two, uh, two boards on that side, two boards on this side. We've got an additional two knee boards that go underneath that seat. Right in here. So a bunch of knee boards fit under there and we got a bunch of, uh, ooh, we have an umbrella and a wake skate and some other floaty board the storage space on this thing is incredible too down under there we've got a full storage spot for stuff down under there is storage under here in the middle is the motor under this side is the battery under this side is where our cooler goes and our cooler is right now over there with tammy the tower holds a bimini top so it gives us really good shade in the bright sun like it is right now and it's got some killer speakers if you're going to put a speaker system on a boat you may as well put a good one in and ours it's nice you can hear it perfectly in the boat you can hear it really nicely when you're skiing or wakeboarding behind the boat it makes little water droplets on the surface of the water as the hull vibrates that's pretty cool and it does a good job the tower on this one when we bought the boat, it came as an electric tower, and then they switched it to hydraulic because I guess, I don't know, Mastercraft was having some people complaining about problems with the electric. It worked fine for us. The, the uh, hydraulic one works just as well. The beauty of the tower is it goes up and down, and you tuck the boards in. You don't have to put anything away. Just the, the tower, the racks, 
are awesome because they swing in. Most boats have fixed racks. Check these out. So you just loosen this, and with that loose, that entire rack system swings inside the boat. So you can, you can pull your boards on and off while you're in the boat. And when they come off the boat, you can actually put them on outside so you don't get water dripping inside the boat. It's pretty sweet. Oh, storage spaces too. In the back, we've got two, uh, each one on port, one on starboard. So under there, huge storage space. And under here is a huge storage space. Now the thing I love about the storage space, when we got the boat, we got a couple of extras. One extra was a hot shower. So it's got cold and hot running water on the boat that we can use to shower people off when they come off. Sometimes we're wakeboarding into late fall and it gets chilly out there. So when a rider comes off the lake freezing their butt off, that warm shower hits the spot. The other thing we have is heater vents. So it actually blows heat inside the cabin and there's a heater tube you can pull out and you can put it into a blankie and warm yourself up real fast. Storage on this spot. The other thing we got was an inflator. So it's running on 12 volt. Uh, you plug the inflator in. We can blow up a uh, inner tube in a matter of like five minutes so the kids can go uh, tubing. It's really nice. Oh, one other thing the boat has, it's one of my favorite things in a boat nowadays, is inboard motor. With an inboard motor, you can stand on the deck and you can dangle your feet off the back of the deck. And the prop, it's way under the center of the craft, which means your feet won't come near the prop, even if it is spinning, which, you know, it never is when people are on the platform, but it's just a safe distance from any humans and any human feet. I like that. Makes it a little harder to control in reverse, but if you know what you're doing with a boat, the, the trade-off is, I just love it. I love an inboard motor. Everything's out of the way, and the way they set up the drive system in the uh, Mastercraft, you don't have that hump in the middle of the boat because it's not a direct drive, it's a V-drive, which means the shaft goes this way, and it takes a V back out to the prop, as opposed to going straight out the back end. That's what gives us all of this room inside the boat. So I think that's it. It's a boat, it runs well, I love it. We've had it, uh, like I said, since uh, 2012, uh, but it's a 2013. And this boat has treated us really well. It's given us a lot of fun on the lake. I'm gonna go have lunch with Tammy and the kids. Oh, one last thing, the stereo system. Inside the glove box, which is a totally dry glove box, I can jack in my phone, so all the music runs off my uh, phone's playlist. Pretty sweet. And you can control that. Oh, I didn't even show you the computer. From the computer on the other side. Check out the computer. So the computer, you can actually set different types of riders. Now, we had just cleared it. Oh, there she is. So Tammy. So we've got all of our different riders and the speeds they like. If you're going surfing, where is it up here? Surf left, that's what I use. Surf left. You just activate that and it starts filling the tanks. Oh, that's the other thing this boat has. It has three ballast tanks, three areas, starboard, center and port other way around starboard center port three ballast tanks that you can fill any way you want you can fill one half or three quarters or 39 percent you balance out the weight in the boat the way you want it to create a wave behind you that's really nice to surf on or to do wakeboard tricks on we can actually create a pretty uh, dangerous looking wake behind the boat for wakeboarding tricks that I think covers it and it's got a really nice driver's side. We're building houses. You guys are building houses? Yes, tiny little houses. We have rock flooring. It's very professional. Yep. Totally and we good. leveled it, so it's not like a bouncy ball is just going to roll off the cupboard. Oh, I see. Yeah. You have a square one and a cylinder one? Yeah, she's doing a circle one, and then I'm going to do a square one. Cool. Yeah, you should see them when they're done. Okay. Look at this. It's like white sand. What are you guys doing? We're like crushing rocks to make this powder. Yeah, it's cool. It's fun. I'm still working on mine. I'm just finding a good smashing rock. Oh, yes. Wow, very colorful. Yes. It looks like a ice cream sundae. Yeah. Yes, yeah, very square. Yeah, I think like it's tingly. like a fossil or something like that. Yeah? Looks good.
you working with your dad there, Lissa? Yep. Well done. Who are you bringing in? Caught a fish? Sure, you can call it that. Oh. You getting the water off for us, Amy? Good job. I keep rubbing it, but they come back. Well, rinse out your cloth. Another awesome day on the lake, guys. Whew, we got a lot of sun. We got a lot of water. We did good out there, hey? Yes. Now we're Run, Forrest! <gasps> I don't want to tell you guys this, but I feel that we know we, we got a thing going. I'm going to share this with you. What we have here is a duct tape iPhone carrier. Why do we have duct tape on your iPhone? Do I have to tell them? Yes, I have. Tammy dropped her phone in the crapper. Now it landed in a really safe spot. But no, no, it's I'm not going to get into toilet. details. It's an outhouse. It's an outhouse. It landed in a safe spot. That's all I'm going to say. Safe spot. But that safe spot was six feet down. And so uh, I came up with a MacGyver plan. I rescued it. It involved duct tape. And that's the duct tape soiled phone carrier that that's now needs over. to be sanitized. He's my hero. This wasn't in the fine print when we got married. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you, when you go camping, pro tip number 1 through 40, let's just call it duct tape. Just bring duct tape. It ha It's an iPhone 7. It's waterproof. <laughs> bring duct tape. Save the day. She's lucky I love her. She's lucky I love her. We had a great day on the lake, guys. It was awesome. We're going to get cleaned up, and uh, all of the video you're going to see is going to come off of that phone. So it needs to be cleaned up. And then we're just going to have a relaxing evening. I think I'm going to go get something to drink right now. Yeah. Yeah.